Video Gamers Oasis presents The October Scary Retro Point and Click Adventure Game Walk Through Marathon Stay subscribed for further updates. <laughs> Bedpost P. Nice. Now that's something. Okay. Let's continue the game. Let's go to the attic and unlock that 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 the dead desk. It's locked. This key will work. Add a door. And this is the other side. Let's find that desk. Here we go. It's locked. Let's use this key for this for this desk. Open sesame. What do we got here? What's this say? The bandit's treasure. I'll wait in your piano town in a house high above the sea. Is there some kind of hidden code here? Is there more to this music than what I'm seeing? This is the tale of the bandit's loot and how it came to be. That golden dreams of blissful love soon failed you and me. Oh my love, ride far and fast for me. I'll wait in your Babuna town in a house high above the sea. Three, I traveled as far as the golden gate where I held your treasure true. With the rainbow ends in Christmas gold and the phoenix rises too. Oh my love, ride far and fast for me. I'll wait in your Babuna town in a house high above the sea. I wish I knew exactly what to do with this. The notes probably. There's something hidden here. Oh my god, do you have to like know music the musical notes to get this hidden puzzle? Is there more to this music than what I'm seeing? Is there more to this music than okay. what I'm seeing? Okay. What else can I pick up? The letter shall serve as an introduction from a fruitful blooming. So sincerely, v D. Valdez, protector of the Golden Garden? Golden Dragon. It's hard to read. There she is. I think that's the lady. Liz. The Bandit's Treasure. Charitable performance. Performed with stupendous golden garb. Treasure cards character. Pierre Horowitz. Nothing else to do there. This we unlocked that door. That was that of that desk. Save the game as inside attic. Right, continue game. Okay.
let's wake up at uh, 8 o'clock. Let's get moving. When the eye of the Phoenix is in your hand, okay. or something. I hope you're thing? convinced now that the spirits are with us. Oh, yeah. These so, ghosts so, are so, here to stay. On. I'm convinced that this house is haunted. I'm just not sure who was responsible. What kind of person is Charlie? He seems to feel bad about all these of these mishaps. Have you seen the poem in my room? Do you know about much about Lewis? It must be ha great having your own expert on the Victorians. Long me no rose. I saw those papers in the parlor. Okay, so a lot to talk about. Let's see, I am convinced that this house is haunted. I'm not sure, sure who's responsible. I'm convinced that this house is haunted. Oh, yeah. I'm just not sure who is responsible. Isn't it obvious? Senior Valdez and his wife, long lost soulmates, wandering aimlessly in the netherworld, returning to this house to search for each other. Ah. <sighs> I only hope that one day I will be able to reunite them so that they may find peace. That's so. What kind of person is Charlie? He seems to feel bad about all of these mishaps. What kind of person is Charlie? He seems to feel bad about all of these mishaps. Hmm. Ugh, it's clear to me that Charlie's totally responsible for the accidents. Who else could it have been? He's a really nice kid, but he has no idea what he's doing. Unfortunately, Rose doesn't want to fire him. And there's something suspicious about him. Okay. What do you mean? What do you mean? The other day, I was down in the basement working for over an hour, and suddenly he sneaks up on me. I bet he was down there the whole time, watching me. Hmm. Have you seen the poem in my room? Do you know much about Lewis? It must be great having your own expert on Victorians. I saw those papers in the parlor. Where did you find them? I heard someone crying in the hallway. Was that you? I heard someone crying in the hallway. Was that you? I told you the spirits were interested in you. Was it a woman crying? Yes, it was. How did you know? Yes, it was. How did you know? It must be one of our phantom residents. Mm. Do you know who this phantom could be? Do you know who this phantom could be? Well, it wasn't me crying out there. Mm, do you know what? Do you know much about Lewis? It must be great having our expert. Have you seen the poem in my room? Have you seen the poem in my room? Oh, I love that poem. Listen, my child, to this story of dreams. How does the rest go? It was there when we bought the place. Do you know about much about Lewis? How long have you known Rose? Um, uh, do you know about Lewis? It must have been great having your own expert on having your own expert on Victorians. Do you know much about Lewis? It must be great having your own expert on Victorians. He owns Chandler Interiors, a very reputable antique store. Mm. I'm sure his clients will be quite interested in our bed and breakfast once they hear about our resident ghost. I see. <clears throat> How 
How long have you known Rose? How long have you known Rose? A couple of years. She has good business sense, but I think she needs to think more about advertising. Mm. Otherwise, we're just like all the other B&Bs in this town, and believe me, there's plenty of them. I, found, I saw these papers in the parlor. Where did you find them? Did the house come with a lot of furniture? Did the house come with a lot of furniture? There were a lot of pieces and knickknacks left behind, like the books in the study, your bed. I think it was too large to take out of the room. I saw these papers in the parlor. Where did you find them? I saw those papers in the parlor. Where did you find them? Right in my room. They're so oh, vintage. Wow. I'm going to ask Lewis if he can get me some antique frames for them. Rose and I can use the letters in our historical display. Was there anything about the house in them? Uh, historical display? Historical display? Yes, they're very popular in bed and breakfast. They usually contain old photographs, letters, documents, things like that. I see. Was there any photographs with the papers? Were there any photographs with the papers? Mm -hmm. I did find this old picture of a woman dressed in men's clothing. Oh. I think it was taken in the entryway by the staircase. I sent it to a photographer to have it restored. Okay. Do you have any idea who this woman might be? Was there anything else in the photograph that, that was odd? A woman in men's clothing? That sounds strange. A woman in men's clothing? That sounds strange. Mm. I once read that some women back then liked the freedom men's clothing gave them since their lives were so restricted. A man could go anywhere and do almost anything. A woman couldn't. Interesting. Uh, I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Uh, I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Ta-ta for now. Cheerios. Let's go uh, save our game. Save the game as after seance. Uh, we rename this as Speak with Abby After. Stairs. Let me rose and shed some light on what's happened so far. I think she'll have some interesting words to speak. It's, it's, it's after 9 a.m., 9.15 in the morning. Let's go talk to Rose. Hi, Rose. Hello. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Don't work too hard. All right, all right, all right. Go back to the lounge just outside the library. What's in here? It's missing an eye. Oh, interesting. That might prove helpful later. There's one there, though. All right, we need to sp speak to the. Um, <clears throat> Abby's friends and then we'll take a little break because we played for over an hour if not more Let's talk to our friends if, we, if there's anything we can talk about the best uh, one five two three five 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 four four six eight This is Bess. And George. Hello, you two. Uh, Hi, Nancy. How are you? Listen to this. I found a secret attic and an old desk. It looks like no one's been in there for years. Listen to this. I found a secret attic and an old desk. It looks like no one's been in there for years. There's probably a lot of clues about the house in there. Okay. Oh, what was in the desk? An old playbill for a musical called The Bandit's Treasure. An old playbill for a musical called The Bandit's Treasure. The Bandit's Treasure? Maybe there is treasure in the house. Yeah. 
I found some letters written by E. Valdez. I, ho I guess he was the owner of a hotel named the Golden Gardenia. I found some letters written by E. Valdez. I guess he was the owner of a hotel named the Golden Gardenia. Valdez! Golden Gardenias? I thought they were all white. That's it! Don't you see? Oh. The hotel has gold hidden in it, ah. and Valdez is watching over it. I don't think so, Bess. Can you guys give me a clue? I'm not sure what to do next. Can you guys give me a clue? I'm not sure what to do next. Check out the music in the attic desk. I bet the different notes are a combination for the piano puzzle. A combination for the piano puzzle. Uh, I should be going. Talk I should to you get later. going. Talk to you later. See ya. Bye. All right. We're getting close to something. I know that. Save the game. Telephone. All right. Continue game. Let's go outside. Hey Nancy, I see you survived Abby's uh, seance. Yeah. And that Veldez guy sure sounded creepy. Sure did. I guess, uh, I guess, were you down here then? Uh, I didn't remember seeing you. Have you ever heard of him? Valdez, I mean. Have you ever heard of him? Valdez, I mean. I've heard of a Diego Valdez. He was a wealthy rancher who lived in the 1800s. Yeah, I just read a book on him for my history class. I see. Was he from uh, San Francisco? Was he from San Francisco? No, he was sort of a hermit and never married. But he was extremely generous. He gave away thousands of dollars. I see. Have you met Lewis Chandler? What do you know about him? Can you tell me more about the accidents? How do you like working for Abby? Have you seen the poem in the Chinese room? Uh, can you tell me more about the accidents? Can you tell me more about the accidents? I'd really rather not talk about that right now. Okay. Uh, have you seen the poem in the Chinese room? Have you seen the poem in the Chinese room? Yeah, I've never seen anything like that. It almost sounds like there's a hidden message in there, you know? Hmm, interesting. I like working for Abby. Uh, have you have you met Lewis Chandler? What do you know about him? Have you met Lewis Chandler? What do you know about him? He's an antique dealer, I, I think. I guess he does consulting work for Rose, like on Victorian furnishings and stuff. I see. How do you like working for Abby? How do you like working for Abby? She's not bad. She can be a little weird. I think she gets on Rose's nerves sometimes. How? Oh. Abby thinks the house is haunted, do you? Abby thinks the house is haunted. Do you? I'm not sure. Let's just say I wouldn't rule it out. But that's Abby's department, not mine. How does Abby get on Rose's nerves? How does Abby get on Rose's nerves? She always does a disappearing act whenever Rose needs her to do some work. I see. But I think Rose is sort of hatty, you know? Oh. I'll let you get back to your renovation. I'll let you get back to your renovation. Hasta la pasta. All right. Can I investigate that piano seat? Is there a key? Is there some kind of hidden code I can look at? Swanee River. And hidden beneath a river of colors. Okay. All 
Okay. No, I don't want to do that yet. No. What's, it, what's in here? It's stuck. Can you unstuck it? It's stuck. Okay. Can you unscrew it? It's stuck. Nope. All right then. How about these piano keys? Okay, I'm obviously missing something and I'm not feeling a little bit tired and I think we're going to take a break here. Alright. Let's go upstairs. save our game as a uh, secret uh, let's name this as let's go talk this to Charlie after seance We'll take a little break. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We're going to take a little break, and uh, this video will be edited um, on my for my YouTube channel in, in smaller videos. So make sure to subscribe to Video Gamers Oasis on YouTube to check out the progress of, that I'm making on this on this these videos. Uh, There's a series of videos I'm making on October, all October. The October scary retro point and click adventure game. Walk through marathon. Stay subscribed for further updates. <laughs>